Hi, welcome back to Backseat Gaming. I'm Ryan. I'm Matthew. And we are playing... We're still playing Donkey Kong Country. Yes. And we're still on Millstone Mayhem. The only thing that this is causing mayhem for is my mental health. <laughs> yeah, Matthew's not doing so hot. I've just had one of those days and this game is not helping. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It couldn't have been that bad. Like... Here, you, why don't, Ryan, why don't you take over for a bit? <laughs> really? You, are you sure about that? I'm kind of bad at this. Oh, it's fine. But yeah, it's like, um, the best way I can describe it is it's like, uh, it's like whoever made this game was just like, I know games are made for fun, but what if, and follow me on this one, but what if we didn't? <laughs> I mean, he's got, like, everyone else is like, I mean, he's got a point. It's unheard of. Yes. I mean, it's... it's brilliant! It's <laughs> fascinating! Yes. That's outside-the-box thinking there. That's the type of outside-the-box thinking that we need over here at Rare. Yeah. Over here at outside... <laughs> over here at inside-the-box thinking. <laughs> Go, oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Almost got me there. You know what's sad is eventually it became uh, rare for them to make a good game. Ah. Uh, One, obvious joke, but two, actually true. Yes. <laughs> Oh, man. If I ever could, a game I'd love to play for this channel that we would definitely have to age restrict would be Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh, I love Conker's Bad Fur Day. Did they make a sequel to that? I feel like they did. They did. I don't think it did as well. Because, of course, by then, I mean, his his whole shock value was gone. It's like, pff, we have the internet, dude. <laughs> yeah. You got nothing. <laughs> oh, oh a bad talking squirrel. There's 15 videos of that up already. <laughs> <laughs> How about, how about we show you one where they're horribly bored and dis destroyed? Yeah. <laughs> the internet, where you can find everything that could ruin your childhood. <laughs> it just reminds me of my idea for uh, that character from uh, Blade Runner, where it's just him, uh, Roy ba Beatty's character, talking about the things he's seen. But it's just him talking about all the crappy stuff he's seen on the internet. <laughs> like, you wouldn't believe the things I've seen. I've seen cats wearing hats. I've seen people eating their own poop. I've seen a Karen freak out at a cashier Ooh. because they were asked to wear a mask. <laughs> what? I jumped on the head of that. There's a lot of videos about that right now. Oh, like the Karens? Yes, nothing will ever beat the Karen that got mad at a, like a Tommy something, and literally like crapped and like threw it. Oh, uh, a what? Yeah, like I don't know what the conversation was, but she got mad, just dropped Deuce like right there, like next to the cashier, and then like threw it at them. That's what? Yeah, it's it's levels of insanity that are like top tier. <laughs> Have you seen? I, I think it was confirmed that it was staged. But have you seen the one where the woman's at Barnes and Noble and like is freaking out because no one knows her favorite author and doesn't have a book from it? <laughs> and my favorite part about it is like the, the the cashier behind it is being super super helpful, and like she's like, "Has no one heard of?" I I don't know the actual name, so I'm just gonna say one. Has no one heard of Jane Austen? And then behind, he's like, oh, "We can order it for you." She's standing there, is like. Yeah, I'll take that ordered. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be staged. Yeah, it is no way. It's there was no. There's way no way they'd be consoled that easily if it was an actual like Karen or freak out person like Kevin. Kevin. That's like the male equivalent. Let's see. Oh man, but yeah. Um, you uh, ever been around a Karen? I don't think I have. I have before. It's so weird. It's like, it's almost like you feel like you should be looking for the camera. Like, <laughs> all right, who's pranking me? Yeah. Like, a, like am I on one of those candid camera shows? Where is it at? <laughs> Where's Dashian Kutcher? Yeah, because there's no reason that this 45-year-old woman should be screaming about the fact that they don't have frozen yogurt here. <laughs> yeah, this is... At this tire uh... shop. <laughs> At the tire shop? Well, that never happened, but it's usually, like, when they yell, it's about something that ridiculous. Yes. Like, you won't let me use your personal cell phone. 
like, yeah, I don't know you. <laughs> I don't have to. <laughs> What's worse is seeing those videos where you actually see that the Karen is being is actually right. Yeah, but she's but gone. like the videos like labeled Karen because I remember seeing one where like these kids were like skateboarding near like a school and like this superintendent or whatever was like out there is like you can't be here and just started shouting at them mm -hmm. and it's like I mean she's right it's trespassing but at the same time she's also being really rude about it she's also being really <laughs> totally uncool oh no uh. <laughs> don't worry I'll stop that wheel with my face uh, Eight together, strong, bat, not as strong as wheel. <laughs> uh, uh, I tried. See, I hate movies like that where it's like, oh no, the ace would totally beat us. Yeah, I mean, maybe with super intelligence and guns, but like, if it's just super intelligence, we still have the guns. Yeah. That'll totally kill the apes. Guns do a lot. It's kind of like that movie Birds from Alfred Hitchcock where it's like, oh, they took over. Yeah, but that was still made by the time we had flamethrowers. And you know what's going to take all the birds out of the sky? And feed us for a long time? Flamethrower. <laughs> also, the birds were never going to take over. We have cats. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cats, if anything, would take over. Yeah. That's the movie that would be real, is cats. Because cats already, basically, if you own one, it do you don't own it. It owns you. <laughs> I remember someone made, like, a, 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 a post... It's like, what if, like, an alien, like, took you in and thought you were the most adorable thing ever, but then, like, the... And someone added to that, it's like, but you're actually... But the human's actually trying to destroy them the entire time, and someone was like, that's just a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Cats are ungrateful. They tear things up that they don't have to. They sleep all the time. They only do stuff when they want to. Yeah. It's called, it's called an asshole. We already have those. <laughs> yeah, usually, in most circumstances, they would be considered horrible group project workers. Oh, do you know that uh, meow is like an Egyptian word? And that's what the Egyptian word is for cat? Really? Yes. So essentially, like an Egyptian person saw a cat and it's like, what are you? Meow. Okay. <laughs> that's so dumb, but I love it. Well, that was back when, like, uh, you know languages weren't super complicated. I mean, I'm not saying Egyptian's not complicated, I'm just saying, like, their naming system wasn't that complicated. Shh. Okay. Gotta time this right. What?! And... I don't understand how I'm not jumping <laughs> on top of them. If the goal was to die, you... The timing was perfect. We're talking, like, you know, Mission Impossible down to the second down to the wire. Perfect. <laughs> I've only actually ever seen one Mission Impossible. I have seen none of them. Really? It turns out the most impossible mission is for me to sit through one. <laughs> I can understand that. I mean, they seem like they're action-packed and entertaining, but it just also seems like they don't really have a cohesive storyline. It's like each one's a different movie. Like, <laughs> it's almost like that joke from the uh, Tropic Thunder where he's like, Every time it's the same thing, just slightly different, where it's like scorched, where he's like, huh, Here we go again. It's like scorched too. Here we go again, again. again. And that's like scorched six. It's like frozen. He's like, Who left the fridge open? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's like Mission Impossible. Like, this, you don't understand. This mission's impossible. Looks like this mission's twice as impossible. <laughs> like, it's, they don't do that, but it's like it has that feel to it somehow to me. That, to me, sounds exactly like the Fast and the Furious franchise. Speaking of which, did you know they're going into space now? Is that what 9 is? Yes, they're going into space. I, I saw mean, the trailer. I mean, they've... Ex are they going to have, like, lightsaber cars? I, all I can tell is that they're doing... They took, I believe, <laughs> inspiration from Elon Musk, and they're just strapping cars to... Rockets. To rockets. I'm sorry, I just thought of the other version of that, where it's just like... Family is what binds us, what penetrates us. <laughs> so he's just giving him the same speech as like Obi Wan Kenobi what? gave Luke Skywalker about the Force, but he's just saying family because that's always what they say. Oh, uh, Vin Diesel and family is like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. 
It exists. It's a very popular formula. I'm just not a huge fan of it. Right. That's the thing about the streets. The streets always win. No, they don't. They really don't. Like, I'm not sitting there trying... Like, maybe in certain aspects, but, like, corporations usually can clear out the streets quite easily. Or control the streets, depending on which one. Yeah, depending on what they want. Oh, <laughs> come on. Uh, Military? Like... Government? Like, nah. You're wrong. Also, there's no way on earth that you could have me believe that Dom, a guy who has no fight training whatsoever, beat a super spy like Jason Statham in a fist fight. That is not true. <laughs> I... Because I still don't believe that Vin Diesel could beat Jason Statham in a normal fight <laughs> between the two of them. And you just and you're like and this this isn't even like the actors of the character. This isn't even the characters. I'm talking trickly actors. Yeah. I've heard Vin Diesel's not a great guy. Yeah, he's a. Uh, he's kind of got an ego to him, is what I've heard. I, I've never met the guy, so obviously I can't say. I don't understand why he would. He's only been in the Fast and the Furious. I mean, he's been in other things, but all I remember from him is that he's from the Fast and the Furious. He, he's never been in anything that really took off besides the Fast and the Furious. Like, because all of his other movies are basically extremely forgettable. Yeah, what was it? Like a pacifier? Yeah, that, and then he had... Because he had Triple X, and then he had um, Pitch Black, and then he had Fast and the Furious, and that's it. That's all I can name of his. Like he, as far as like action heroes go, I mean, because I mean he is in Marvel, but he's he's Groot. Oh, that's right, he is Groot. I f keep forgetting about that. Although I do love the fact that he does say it in multiple languages. Does Mus he really? Yes. It's like Musoe Misoil Groot. <laughs> that's actually really funny to me. Yes. And that for some odd reason he decided and when they recorded his lines for the first movie. He decided that he needed to be wearing stilts <laughs> so he could feel how tall he was. Why? Exactly. Although, my that's not my favorite uh, fun fact about Vin Diesel. My favorite fun fact is that he got his start in a toy commercial for Street Sharks. What? Yes, Street Sharks was a ripoff of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the 90s. But yes, he, he was playing with the Rough and tough street sharks <laughs> toys. That sounds dumb. Oh, it was. Street sharks was terrible. <laughs> it was stupid. <laughs> so what was it? And it was so clearly a ripoff because it's just three brothers who get turned into mutated sharks. And then, fun fact, they can swim through the concrete of the streets and other things. They can swim through concrete. Yes, <laughs> yes. that's why they're called street sharks. You, you gotta follow. You gotta pay attention and follow me here, right? <laughs> I understand. You gotta it's follow the, the logic. <laughs> but anyways, what logic? And then they're not obsessed with pizza. No, they're obsessed with hamburgers and hot dogs. The most American of things. Yes. So it's completely different. <laughs> Yo, I can go for a chili dog, bro. No, bro. That's a different franchise. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, that's a blue hedgehog. We're just a hammerhead shark, a great white, and some other type of shark. I think it was a tiger shark, because he had stripes. Oh, okay, I can see that. But it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I only vaguely remember it. The only other cartoon that I remember watching, even though I watched it even though it was terrible, and that was um, Beast Wars. Beast Wars. I feel like I vaguely remember what that was. It was like, uh, hello, kitty. We're recording right now. You need to be shh. <laughs> Please. Aw, she's so cute. Thank you. She's very unsure now. <laughs> right. I'm gonna give this a couple more tries, and then we're moving on. Because my sanity is more important than Donkey Kong. What are you talking about? Donkey Kong is our lives now. There's gonna, it's just gonna be me in a padded room, just writing DK on the walls in my own blood. <laughs> just like, just like, DK never loses. DK never loses. What if just you're crazy and you're imagining all of this? I kind of feel like I am, and this is just like my own personal mental battle. <laughs> 
Why is it your personal hack? Like we're at the end of one of those horror movies, and I'm just like realizing that I've, like I've put my like Hellraiser, and I'm just in my own personal hell. <laughs> <laughs> like I solved the lament configuration, and this is where I am. <laughs> Uh, and Pinhead's just like, I don't get it. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> He's like, I've seen people be horrified of being like ripped apart and like, tortured. For some like, reason, he's terrified of Donkey Kong Country? Yeah, for some reason, he's terrified of recording and losing at Donkey Kong Country forever. <laughs> just curious of like the other personal hells of everyone else. Just like. Apparently, he's not a fan of being of, like his personal hell, so his personal hell is just eating junk food and never having the opportunity to eat anything else. <laughs> just like someone is like sitting on a table, sitting at like a table, and it's just like, ah, I could have had a salad. Yeah. <laughs> his personal hell is being unsure. Do you want the soup or the salad? Uh, uh, and it's just that for eternity. <laughs> just him <laughs> holding that uh. Oh. You mean, oh, you mean Cheaty from uh, The Good Place? Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. You've seen The Good Place, right? I've seen bits and pieces. It's There's a lot of Netflix shows, I'm not going to lie, where I was like, I keep meaning to watch them, but, but I just never do. The Good Place is very, very good, in my opinion. <laughs> the Good Place is good. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's just like a joke in there where like... They're in this room where like they're not supposed <laughs> Hang on, to... I love how Donkey Kong's like carrying this like he's like... <laughs> careful, careful. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, you messed up. Oh, so close. Mm. But no, there's like a place where they're not supposed to get up and move around. Are beavers allowed to be hunted? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> uh, well, tell your friend that I'm pretty sure it's illegal. Illegal or legal? Illegal. I'm pretty sure it's legal because they're... Uh... Depending on where they're at, they can actually uh, ruin the ecosystem because of their dams. Maybe. I yeah. don't think it's hunted that they're going to be doing that. I feel like it would be like relocation. No, that's animal control because sometimes they will go out and just like straight up murder a population. Uh, I'd have to look it up, to be honest. Yeah. That being said, I don't actually intend on hunting beavers. I'm just really upset right now. I can tell. <laughs> that's how you do it. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you there? Come on. But no, they're in like a place where you're not supposed to move, and then like, uh, Cheaty. <gasps> oh, that is so evil! So much rage! Rage. <laughs> I'm like Ben Stiller's character from <laughs> Mystery Men <laughs> right now. <laughs> Just, I'm gonna get. Ah. Uh, are you okay? Over Parts there? of my life are blacking out right now. <laughs> Childhood yeah. forgetting. Yeah. Who first was Papa. Yeah. First girlfriend gone. Replaced only with rage for Donkey Kong. <laughs> All I remember is Donkey Kong. Yes. I feel like I'm gonna be. <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna end up being uh, Gomer Pyle from Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> You'd be like, Matt, you're just playing Donkey Kong. You don't understand. I am in a world of shit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but, uh, this is my Kong. There are many like it, but this one is mine. mine. <laughs> Why'd you stand so close? I didn't think I was close. Ah. Oh. Clearly I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so they're in a room and they're not supposed to move anywhere, and Chidi is just like... He's excited because he figured something out, so he steps up and then, like, just immediately gets it zapped somewhere. Mm -hmm. And eventually, you know, one of, like, the deities that's there just, like, plucks him out and he's like, I saw infinite realities folding in on each other for an infinite amount of time, just forming into one object. And one of just like, oh, yeah, the time knife. We've all seen that. <laughs> just like, oh, okay. And he just goes explaining and it's like, okay, well, the, be the problem with the good place is that, like, you know, this is this. I'm sorry, the time knife? <laughs> <laughs> it's like yes we've all seen it it's not special <laughs> so uh, stuff like that is just that reminds me of something I used to do when I'm bored what? Or, 
or it's usually I did it to like my dad or like one of my friends when I get bored when they're talking is I'll just sit there and I'll start to react recreate the scene from uh, 2001 Space Odyssey where it's like it's full of stars and I'm just like they look over and I'm just, I just I'll just scream that it's full of stars and then I just look over and I'm like doing the dirt face that he does like <laughs> why because I want them to know I'm bored <laughs> that wow. their conversation is annoying me that sounds incredibly mean well it's mean but it's also funny <laughs> I'm not doing it just because I like I hate them <laughs> I'm doing it to get a laugh. <laughs> Yesterday, I was uh, with some family, and it was with my cousin and my aunt and my grandmother. Mm -hmm. And so, we were over in Waco, where he lives. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't have said where he lives. We were over in this place where he lives. I'm not going to be able to bleep that. It's too late now. Let's just continue on, though. <laughs> okay. And so, like, we kept pronouncing things wrong, apparently. And, you know, he kept correcting us. It's like, it's pronounced this... You know, and all that. And I was just like, dude, you keep correcting people. He's like, yeah, I do that with my roommates, too. And I was like, how do you have roommates if you do that? And he looked at me without hesitation and goes, because I own their furniture. And I was like... Fair point. Fair point. Matt checks out on that one. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. Mix it. <laughs> Make a lot of sense. <laughs> now, watch out for the evil part. Yeah. First, I gotta make it past Devil Bird here with the freaking nuts. Ah, Devil Bird hates us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Come on out now, you snake bastards. You rotten snakes! Oh, go, 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 go. Oh. Mm -hmm. How cruel. Oh. Oh. Why? <gasps> oh. Yes. 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 Yes! Sweet release. <laughs> oh. Here, you fight the boss. <laughs> I will fight I'm tired. You've done plenty of work. You have to land on his head three times. Avoid the giant nuts. <laughs> yes. Sometimes you'll hit his head and it won't make that effect. If it doesn't make that effect, it doesn't count. You want to guess his name? Nutty? No, it's Necky. Of course it's Necky. Yes. They thought about Deep Throat, but that that had too many different connotations. Political, sexual, and they were just like, yeah, we don't need all that. <laughs> so why does this, I'm going to assume, vulture need these bananas? It's a good question. They're working for a crocodile. Why does he need them? <laughs> They're not money. They don't <laughs> it's do anything. Money. I think it's specifically just to make sh make. Uh, make a fool out of Donkey Kong. Yeah, but I, I they don't uh, talk about whether or not him and Donkey Kong have previous history. So it's just like, I don't like, like, who lives here? A monkey? Yeah. Or an ape? Yeah. I'm gonna piss all over him. <laughs> it'll be hilarious. <laughs> I don't even know this guy, but I'll ruin his life. It'll yeah. be great. Why am I in New York? I don't know. Why am I a crocodile? Yeah. <laughs> why, who, why is anybody anything? Who are you? <laughs> yeah. Who are you? Another crocodile? Excuse me while I go fake cry. <laughs> so how's your day, Matthew? Yeah, see? <laughs> see? It's spreading. <laughs> Good. Use your anger. <laughs> yeah. Use it. Let it fuel you. <laughs> Do it. Yes. Let it penetrate your body. <laughs> uh, Deborah Palpatine. Yeah. You wanna run that one by me again? Yes. Get it. Get it sexually excite you. <laughs> okay, whoa. Yes, okay. And for Palpatine. Um. Ahem. <clears throat> I don't think I want to be a part of the dark side anymore. No. Yeah. Huh. Too late. <laughs> Too late. It's already inside of you. Yeah, you signed a contract. We have you for at least three years. <laughs> Why three years? Yeah, you should read the fine print. <laughs> yeah, really should have gotten a lawyer for that. Yes. Otherwise, your credit score would be terrible. <laughs> Good luck renting an apartment. <laughs> uh, I like how in st still in the far, far galaxy, credit score still screws people over. Oh, totally. <laughs> That's one thing that I feel like would cross every like genre. <laughs> Just horrible credit score. What if like that was the main 
flaw in like a villain's plan. <laughs> yeah. No, that was his main plan. He's like, and then I'll bring down their credit score. <laughs> and you see him like, you evil bastard. <laughs> I can't believe you. You know what that'll do? I won't be able to rent a house, buy furniture. I won't be able to get a car. What's wrong with you? You're messing with people's livelihoods, man. <laughs> uh, that's something I wish they would have taught in school, is how to deal with credit. Yeah. Hmm. That would have been nice. Or like to do taxes. Yeah. Anything other than like... <laughs> anything other than like... <laughs> what <laughs> what the value of X is. Because, you know what? I keep I've done falling for that. I've done taxes so many times in my life. You know what I haven't done? Quadratic uh, form The quadratic formula? Yeah. <laughs> But apparently you need to learn it. Yeah. You just got hit straight in the face. What are they throwing up? Is it... I think it's rocks. Yeah. Because they're spitting it out, and that doesn't make sense. I think it means... I think it's nuts. It's supposed to be coconuts, but it's like it doesn't make sense that they're throwing them up either. What happened? I, I don't know. I'd have to watch the replay on that, but that's... It's, it's interesting. <laughs> yep. Get rid of that bird. Go through this bird. Yeah, just, yeah, just murder all bird. the birds. <laughs> you just want to keep throwing them like that? Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty solid with that plan. <laughs> <laughs> I throw them, Junior spits them out, okay? It's whatever. Well, Why are we New York birds? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't we be New York birds, all right? Why is every accent that Matthew does New York? Who knows? <laughs> What's it to you? What's it to you? Yeah. All right? I'm walking here. Yeah. I saw a video of, like, this guy. He Ooh. was, like, in New York, and, like, he was just like, Hey, guys, I'm in New York. You know, hey, forget about it. I'm, wa I'm walking here. And, like, some lady just comes up to him, like, grab, grabs him by the shirt. It's like, we don't talk like that. And he just, like, walks away. It's like, oh, wow. <laughs> Forget about it. And she turns around and just slaps him across the face. Yeah. Oh, I would have kept going, too. Like, <laughs> screw, screw you, lady. <laughs> like, we don't all talk like that. Hey, what are you breaking my balls for, lady? Come on. <laughs> hey, I'm from you. I'm just doing a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You guys don't talk like that. People from Jersey do. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Sopranos. <laughs> I've seen The Sopranos. Yeah. I've seen Taxi Driver. Just start naming movies. You should have done that. You're talking to me. You're talking. <laughs> Just like start naming movies that are clearly not from New York. Yeah. I've seen Fargo. Yeah, I've seen Fargo. I've seen Brokeback Mountain. Yeah. I've seen Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't well, even know that was there. Me That's neither. Cool. cool. <laughs> I love how you just throw... Forget the barrel. Oh, great. More crocodiles. Oh, you yes. get more. Yeah, but they speed up every time you hit them. Can you kill them? Is something shiny? Oh, those are just where you're picking up them. Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's fine. At least you didn't lose a life. It's go until death. <laughs> Much like life. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> just. Damn it! <laughs> you mean... I want that checkpoint! We <laughs> Stop timing it poorly then! There you Yay. go. Now it doesn't matter. I mean, it still matters. Ah, Jepa. Yet again, I don't know how I killed the one behind me, but They're cool. They're not very strong. No, but you're supposed to throw the barrel forward, and I released it, but somehow I threw it backwards. I think they're throwing up nuts. I think that's what they're doing. I love how they're just standing there. Oh, okay. Possibly walnuts. Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about? That's clearly an almond. <laughs> oh, oh, that was lucky. Smooth operator. Yeah. Come on, you got this. Oh, God. At least you went up. Oh, come on. Yes. Timing. There we go. There we go. Well, the only other option is I go backwards and I hit the... <laughs> that would have been better. It would have been funnier. It would have... <laughs> 
infuriated me beyond belief, but like I pass it and then I shoot backwards into it. It's like, Diddy, what are you doing? Ho! Oh. Technically, I saw two hitboxes, so I feel like that should. What the fuck? Mm. Mm. Anyway, while Matthew is recovering from his sanity, this is going to be this episode of Backseat Gaming. I'm Ryan. I'm Matthew. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that notification bell. And also, just send me any positive <laughs> energy. I'm going to need it. <laughs> he is going to need it. Thank you very much. All right.